welcome to imperial cat system in this video we see what does advanced plant command do in unigraphic we see advanced plant in sheet metal modeling right now we are in a part modeling then shift to sheet metal modeling file sheet metal or else you can select control shift m this is sheet metal modeling workbench here we have a flange and if you go to more we have advanced flange we see the difference between both for that we require a base sheet i go to sketch i create a profile closed profile finish sketch tab it adds sheet to that profile selected profile here thickness you can change i enter 3 mm thickness i go for okay and to add a sheet to the edge then select flange then here you can adjust length length here is height i give 100 mm i move this part now to add sheet to this edge you can either go into flange see friends like this you can add sheet to the edges by using flange in the same way you can also use advanced flange select this then some 50 mm not bend radius sorry length 50 mm like this then the difference between both what is the difference between both means i go to sketch by selecting on that surface then what i do is i select spline now I took a spline. I have connected to that spline and I made that profile closed. Finish sketch. Then I go to cut, normal cut out. Give depth, ten mm. Anything you can give depth more than thickness. i hide this sketch now i want it now the edge is not straight not regular the edge is irregular now i want to add sheet to the if you want to add sheet to this edge then if you go for a flange you can't select because it is not a regular edge then in that case go to advanced flange select that edge and give length 75 like that give bend radius 4 like this this is a use of uh, this is use of ad advanced flange in unigraphics thank you for watching this video for more videos do subscribe from our channel